This is my favourite story of the year. It's rare that in politics is there any good news. Today though is just GameStop, a retail gaming store that has been on the decline for a while, has miraculously soared its stocks to record levels. It's increased its value by nearly 700%. This graph from The Guardian demonstrates the sharp increase of value of their stocks, with online purchases and more people opting to download their games digitally. It's a reasonable explanation as to why a company such as GameStop is struggling until now. So what happened? How did they virtually overnight increase their profits? Well, first of all, what we need to talk about is shorting. Shorting is when people in the stock market know that a company is going to fail, so they bet against them. These are incredibly risky practices. The first thing that happens is stock is borrowed from a failing company with a promise to give it back at a later date, typically with a small fee. Hedge funds then call up their stockbrokers and are able to obtain one share borrowed stock, let's say £100. Then they sell that share for 100 quid to somebody else, its market value. When it's predicted, the business in question goes public with their devalued stocks, meaning their share price falls to, let's say, £70. Another share is then bought for 70 quid, and the original share, which is still worth £100, is given back to the company, and the speculator makes a profit of 30 quid. Now, I'm sorry, I'm no Margot Robbie in a bathtub trying to explain this in layman's terms, but we have a clear example here. Silver is at $20 an ounce. I think it's going to go down. I borrow one ounce of silver from Philip for $20. I sell it on the marketplace for $20. I now have one ounce of silver debt and $20 cash. I wait for the silver to be valued at a different price. Let's say it goes to $15. I buy an ounce of silver for $15 from Henry. I now have $5, an ounce of silver and one ounce of silver debt to Philip. I give Philip the ounce of silver and I have $5 left over. So how did this relate to GameStop? Hedge fund Melvin Capital knew the company was failing. They put bets on it to fail, essentially squeezing them out of existence. Then something amazing happened. Smart people on subreddit Wall Street Bets knew this was happening and decided to rally small traders together and purchase stocks on GameStop and then go spend money at the stores. This snowballed and GameStop's value skyrocketed and those that betted against the company lost billions. Wall Street got played at their own game. Melvin Capital deliciously lost a load of money. So there are many of those same people who benefited from these practices, suddenly whinging that this isn't fair, that the rules and the regulations need to be looked at. According to them, things were absolutely fine with the system when people lost their jobs, their homes and much more during the 2008 financial crash and the government bailed them out. But now the game has been used against them. Suddenly, the system is all wrong. This is Herb Greenberg of Pacific Square Research running to CNBC. Let's take a look. Wait a minute, what you just said, target. <laughs> so here's my question. How is it that they can target and that's legal and if there was in the old days a bear raid that was illegal. When does this become manipulation, Jim? It's such a tough question because remember, what's manipulation? How about if an analyst came out right now and said, I think GameStop is going to 250? Would we give that, that person a, a pass? Yes, because of the very First different. Amendment. Very, no, very, no, very, listen very to me. Different. It's First Amendment protection versus the idea of a group getting together to bust the shorts. Well, I don't know if they're concentrated because I don't have subpoena power and I can't really go well, out and look at it. Well, that's always I, I can, I can <laughs> argue, I don't even know if there are foreign powers at work here behind Will the scenes stop? trying to make chaos off our markets. Let me ask you this. So he's now blaming foreign influence. Wow, this is embarrassing and, and it's just so desperate. So the question is, who's going to be blamed for this? Robinhood Trading App, which half its users bought stock from GameStop, is now shut down trading on the game and retail company. We can't have the little guy winning. It's why the mainstream media will call the average Joes who invest in small amounts of money are suddenly now mobs. Yet, yeah, it's okay when these practices are used every day by the billionaire class. Summed up really well in a tweet by AOC. So this is responding to the Robinhood trading app, which has cut all trading to the retail company. This is unacceptable. We now need to know more about Robinhood app's decision to block retail investors from purchasing stock while well, hedge funds are freely able to trade the stock as they see fit. As a member of the Financial Services Committee, I'd support a hearing if necessary. So back in 2008, the big banks such as JP Morgan sold dodgy subprime mortgages to people, knowing these were destined to fail. Those same people who sold those dodgy mortgages betted that they would fail, making a double profit. This led to the 2008 crash 
and nothing has changed since. What the Redditors have done is beautifully exposed how free markets don't actually exist and are constantly manipulated by those who already have a lot of capital and the well-connected. You know, the billionaire class influence our politicians and basically help write our laws that obviously benefit them. Conservatives and capitalists will always say that free market capitalism is good for everybody, that the system is fine and there is no need for regulation. What's so funny about this, though, is that on this occasion, a fight back occurred, and now those same people who love the system are crying foul to the referee. I'm sorry guys, you don't get to moan. It's called having a taste of your own medicine. So this is amazing work from everybody at Wall Street Bet subreddit, and I hope they continue the fight.